pull me out, okay? All right, Nick, shove yourself Let's on in there. You. Oh, she's gonna touch his brain. I need Welcome to back to Fallout 4, guys. Valentine. She's gonna I'm shove her fingers in his neck hole. She's casting a spell on him. What is that? Different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense. She's of like, talk. what is she doing That's to him? I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. No. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. He gad. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. See, I'm nice. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But oh, I'm gonna have to get in this chamber. We used to. We load both you and Mr. Wait, 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 hang on. Piper is behind me. She's Run your she's bright. Functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Um. No, I think, I think uh, Piper's got this. Piper, you want to step idea in? Any what I'm going to see in there? I have no clue. But considering we only have a single piece of the medial temporal lobe and not the whole brain, I doubt it'll be. Cohesive. Perfect. Let's right. do it. Let's get started. Piper, Just climb on in. Over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Wait, Nick. Nick, hey. I'm gonna... What can I do? Something Why don't new? you head in there? Is everything okay between us? I guess I'm still on the fence. Show me you want to make lives better. Out you are such we'll a talk. bitch, Piper. Oh, I'm about to die and you're still on the fence if you like me or not. Not that I want you to like me, but god damn it, you do what I say, Piper. What is this? Piper just took a seat and stood up immediately. This is like waiting for the Fallout 4 trailer again. Oh, god. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Oh shit. Demonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Oh crap. What could go wrong? You know we're playing with a brain. Can you hear me? Ah, oh, good. The simulation appears what to be What in the hell the is this shit? I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one. That gives us some clue. That to one. It's flashing. Location. I like that one. What's happening? There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. What what do you mean? What are you talking about? You mean this one? The flashing oh this one. What the hell? Oh the isn't the brain fun? I always knew I had my own playground inside my head. Oh shit. Remember. You are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Uh, his dad would be an alcoholic. I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. No subtitles for that bastard's memories. Dad was either drunk or not around. I guess he must have run with one of the Raider gangs, but... I never really knew what he did. Don't know why Mom was with him. Maybe at some point in his life he wasn't a complete asshole. That's an amazing picture back there. Lend a hand for Uncle Sam. <laughs> Uncle Sam's like out and fall out of uh, the Brotherhood's lifting him up. Mom I know it was the Brotherhood back was. then, but you know, you know, I'm just saying what I want. Soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from dad. Wait, forget what but mom has to say. Radio memory? People so always hoping for something better. 
We usually end up with something so, worse. Yeah. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. His abusive there father, yeah, I don't really care about that. Intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. Oh, thank God. There. Oh, look, it's, it's a young Kellogg. Oh, I thought this was a young Kellogg. Oh, it is. It's gonna be fine. He had hair. The thing about happiness is you only know you had it when it's gone. That's true. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that you're happy, but uh, you don't really believe it. Yes, I do. Focus on that. Stop, so petty stop it, Kellogg. All right, I know. Next job or whatever. It's only looking back by comparison with what comes after that you really understand. That's what happiness felt like. We don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. Oh, he's got a baby. Sarah. That was the worst thing that ever happened to her. <laughs> if she oh, he's never frozen. met me, she'd have stayed in the hub. Maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. That'd have been nice. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, oh, just... Mary! Oh I shit, we're gonna have to find Mary, Mary aren't we? Doing. They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I... Yeah, you're a real piece of shit, Kellogg. Her. You stole my son, you piece no, of crap. One second. Anyways, I have no control Let's over this looking. not having subtitles, if you're you wondering. It just doesn't moment. have subtitles for what they're saying. Subtitles are still on. Don't know why they're not working. You just, I'm inside his brain, you know, you gotta feel it. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? He's looking at me! I'm not even just there! Just so you know, they died like dogs. Going and around. you Another memory to try. weren't there to help them. Yeah! He's like, I can't remember what I saw in that room. Oh, maybe I saw the brain bridge. He's gone. Brain bridge it is. I love how they won't let me crouch. I can't sprint, but I can jump. Just in case you have to jump around the brain. This is creepy as hell. Mind hey, Kellogg. Sit down. Suit yourself. Uh -oh. This ain't gonna be good. You know what? Mind if I take a seat as well? No. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, if you we'll pay, pay you. you. Oh, yeah. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Better not be my damn family. I know, he's way younger than me. He's not 210 years old like I am. Even though I'm like 240 years old, because I don't know how old my character is. Mr. Probably... Oh, I'm shit. Decided to meet with me. He's bawling. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? Every single next it's scene is like a better thumbnail. Been rather destructive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. 
I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Oh! System oh! Online. Kapow! Oh, she's in a situation right now. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. And I killed this guy? Get Come on now. Up. One of these has got to tell us something. What do these papers say? They're running out of brain here. Where the hell's Sean? Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Can what is see? happening? This is so strange. I guess, you know, the sequence in the other one was strange too, in three. Manual override initiated. Oh shit, I don't want to see this. No! No! I don't want to see this again! It's still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... find it. Pod C6. Oh god. Oh, this person was awake too! I never knew why we didn't just refreeze the rest of them. But we had our orders. I guess the old man didn't want so many loose ends. Old man? Too bad he left alive the one person he shouldn't have. Ooh, this person knew he, I was threatening to him? Like, what? Big heads never like taking orders from a dirty, contaminated degenerate like me. But they needed me. And I made sure they knew it. I don't want to look in this one that has my wife in it. It's right there. God damn it. Oh, there's me right there. Oh no. Oh no. This is the one. Here. Why though? Why? Open it. I froze it. I I've couldn't deal with the it. the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. My wife! If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission. So it's me! This one stood oh out. god, look at his hands! They're huge! Didn't know then who it was what kind of face am I making? Involved. Of course. Neither did they. Not really. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never like to. And yeah. I guess it did remind me of uh, her. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'm still human. Better this way, though. Better than taking her kid and leaving her alive. Hang on. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft, pre-war vault dweller. Even if he somehow got thawed out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If he could take me out, they won't be able to hide from him for long. This guy believed in me a bit here. <laughs> Is it over? God damn it, not this. Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. Come here. Come here, baby. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I already do this. I'm not giving you Sean! What a piece God of shit. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. Okay, so they turned mine back on, but they left everyone else stuck in their pods to die. That's fucked up. I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. By me. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, thanks for putting me through that again. I appreciate it. No. Oh my god, it's my son, Sean. Holy shit. This is crazy. Is that 
Your son? Oh god, man. I'm honestly getting like chills right now. This sucks. This sucks. Look at it, this. Well, let's hear what he has to say. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate okay, plan this is where we were. the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. This Only old man basically set him up. End. God Another damn. loose end tied up. Oh, let's click him. Sean. Jeez, man, this is crazy. This fucking sucks. It wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. The I Institute probably temporary. has this Mary person, too. We'd be back to normal business before too long. Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? Oh, you're not going to be able to leave. He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. Elimination. On a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. What the? I guess Kellogg forgot how he moved to the left there. What are they doing? X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Fuck you, Kellogg. Ain't seen my. Bye. Holy shit. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute. God damn. No Let me pull you out of there. As soon as you're ready. That was insane. Seeing Sean, seeing what was going on. That was that was absolutely crazy. Let me check if there's anything extra up here that they added in the last second. Nope. Okay, cool. God damn it, Sean! I'll miss you, man. Great to see you, Sean. Great to see you doing okay. <laughs> Fuck. Cap, my son. He thinks he's going home to see dad, so someone's pretending to be his dad. Slow movements, okay? No. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. Is my face okay? No yeah. Done this before. How do you feel? I'm pissed off. I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good, but I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? You were along for the ride, weren't you? You saw what I saw. Yes, but it's important we review everything together, in case either of us missed anything. Okay, let's talk about Virgil. more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. If he was alive still. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there. 
Not even to hide. He's hiding from the Institute. It's the perfect hiding That's spot. Yeah, what the hell are you talking about? To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Damn. We have a way to get How around this radiation. Much radiation doctor. There are chemical compounds. Radex, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would be perfect. That's a pretty easy fix. I kind of have those. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. So he's okay then, I assume. Piper, did she touch me while I was in there? Give me this damn shit. Oh, look at all this great stuff. Right away. Right away, right away. Radex, Radex. It's like, it's turning red at the last second. It's like, oh, don't take that. Oh, no, you okay. You took it. Take that. What's that for? For surviving. What do you mean, what's a stim pack for? I'm trying to see. I'd like to do it without the power armor. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just not a fan of the power armor. Like, it kind of holds you back. Oh, well. Set upstairs. See what Valentine's doing. That was a crazy ass dream memory sequence. Anyways, I think uh, I'll think I'll cut it there, guys. I uh, appreciate you watching the video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. I barely spoke that episode. There was so much listening to do, and I'm really annoyed there was no subtitles, guys. I'm sorry about that, but I guess there's no subtitles for that part. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you tomorrow.